Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, uh, good morning, good night, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. For all trades, we use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It is neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. All right. The title of this video is uh, How to Day Trade on Fridays. We know that Friday is the last day of the week, all right? And uh, there are steps, there are strategy, okay, that the professional adopt on Friday uh, to avoid making a, a trading mistake, okay, and also to make a better a trading decision. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? What do we need to put into use? Which strategy should we use or employ, okay? Which mindset should we adopt on Fridays? when we are day trading the financial markets all right a lot of uh, day traders come every day and they place their trade some are lucky some are not lucky enough and they end up losing a lot of money consistently all right in order to achieve consistent winning trend one must understand okay how to day train like professional traders okay each day is unique okay how do you day trade on monday on tuesday on wednesday on thursday and on friday all right so we have recorded a video already about how to day trade on monday how to day trade on wednesday okay we will be okay posting them on youtube at joy trio channel okay so we have already released the video that we call how to day trade on wednesday the next video that we're going to Okay, upload is uh, how to day trade on Monday, all right? And then we will post another video that we call how to day trade on Thursday. Now we are recording this video that we call how to day trade on Fridays, all right? So you are a day trader, okay? You want to know exactly whether you are a day trader or you are a swing trader. Myself, I consider myself as a day trader. I'm a typical day trader. I'm a hunter. I'm an eagle eye day trader. I hate to lose, okay? I hate to lose. Because when I start day trading, I lose like a mad, okay? In fact, I'm the best loser in the market, all right? So, but then I adopt another strategy. When I'm losing, I come out, I go. I don't like to lose, okay? So, I work with market pattern. So, you want to know whether you are a day trader. I do swing trade, okay? I swing trade also, but I am primarily a day trader. I enjoy day trading so much, okay? It's a game. It's a kind of game. It's a serious game. But I do day trade. Some traders are swing traders, which means they enjoy swing trading, all right? They are swing traders. If you give them TSCW24, they will be crying because they will say, I am a swing trader, Joel, I'm a swing trader. <laughs> so this is what they enjoy doing every day. All right? But some people are swing traders, but they can day trade. But they are typical swing traders. All right? You want to know exactly what is your, what is your trading style. Are you a day trader or are you a swing trader? These are the questions I ask traders. Do you trade forex? Do you trade stocks? Which financial instrument do you enjoy trading? You need to know, all right? So you can specialize yourself and upgrade your trading skill in a specific, okay, uh, subject, okay? So how do we day trade on Friday? I was telling you in the previous video, okay, about how to day trade on uh, Thursday that... Uh, the first day of the week is Monday, and the last day of the week is uh, Friday. Now, traders who understand in your way, we know that there is an equality, equal equality, between the first wave and the last wave. Talking about the magnitude and the length of the first wave and the fifth wave. The same thing we see very often, there is also, if we compare uh, the, first wave, the first wave to the Monday, second wave to Tuesday, 
third wave to Wednesday, fourth wave to Thursday, and uh, fifth wave to Friday. There is also similarities between uh, there are similarity between the uh, Mondays and Fridays. All right, uh, but very often. One the, the first characteristic of uh, Friday is that Friday, most Friday tend to be bullish. You don't want to forget that. I just said something very important. Friday tend to be bullish most of the time. Sometimes you will see the market will open and uh, you will be bearish, 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 bearish. And New York open on Friday and then it's bullish the rest of the afternoon. Remember, Friday is often a bullish day. Why? We want to know why. You have to understand that it's all about the mind game in trading. All right, human beings are the center of the financial market. So you are working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Come Friday, you know that. Okay, soon is the weekend. All right, so you are bullish. You are happy. All right. You want to see your family. You want to play golf. You want to go out. You want to go to swimming. You want to go to your best restaurant. You want to go to film. You are looking ahead to the weekend. You don't have to wake up with your alarm clocks. All right. You're going to sleep as long as you like and get up as when you want and do your own things. All right. So you are looking forward to have some free time, some quality times. All right. So the weekend is making a lot of day traders bullish. They are happy. They, they are happy not because of uh, what's going on in the market itself, but what is going to happen during the weekend. They're going to meet their friend. They're going to go to a party. They're going to do other things. They're going to go to church. They're going to meet their friend. Do other things. All right. Do a lot of things together. So the moods very often on Fridays is bullish. You need to get that right. So, very often, when you are selling on Friday, be careful because Friday, Friday is usually a bullish day. Traders who have been making, who has been making money, okay, Monday to Thursday, so probably they're making money, making money, making money, all right? So, they are so happy that the week is now closing profitably for them. In fact, if the market was bullish the whole week, a Friday has a high chance to be bullish also. You understand? So if the first wave, the third wave is bullish, there's a high chance that the fifth wave is bullish. Yes or no? All right? So that's what's going on. So if the trend is bullish, the fifth wave, the last day, Friday, is bullish. Sometimes you'll see that the market is bearish the whole week more up to Thursday, come Friday, beginning of Friday, London open, is still bearish, very bearish, and then New York is open, it will finish on a bullish note. You will recover some of these losses because the normal progression of the market is what? Is bullish. Yes or no? It's bullish. All right? So, Monday, uh, Fridays is a bullish day. You may say to me, George, enough of your blah, blah, blah. Show me the proof. All right. Okay. I'm going to show you proof here. We are looking. So, one of the, you see, this is a Dow Jones index. Okay, my favorite index. This is Friday. We are a daily chart. Here it is, daily chart. This is last Friday. And Friday, the 23rd of May, 2014. Look, bullish. Thursday was a little bit uh, indecision. But look, feeling on bullish notes. All right? Look, Monday did open here. Went a little bit like this. Tuesday was bearish. I pull back to retest the, 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 the short-term equilibrium price level on a dot. Can you believe it? On a dot and followed by bullish notes. So though the, the beginning of the week was bearish, look, it finished nicely, bullishly. So look, Monday was a little bit bullish. Tuesday was bearish. This is a typical uh, what we are talking about. Tuesday was bearish and Wednesday was bullish. Thursday was a little bit again no, we can say bearish. Can we say bearish? No bullish, no bearish, no bullish, bearish. Okay? Down and close up a bit. And but Friday, bullish again. All right? Friday is a bullish day. If you are selling on Friday, be careful. All right? It doesn't mean that every Friday, because you are a bullish trader, you come and place a trade. I'm going to buy all day long Friday because today is Friday. No, 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 no. You want to look for bear, you want to look for the best, the bullish setup. 
okay and then you apply the trading drill okay and then you will take it okay that's what you want to do if there's no excellent setup okay be careful okay don't just go and uh, do your own thing all right anyhow one thing that tsw 34 trader may do they can scan for stock okay F friday morning stocks according to the okay the strength of the trend on the first best time frame and then give priority to bullish uh, setups on the first best time frame okay if you trade many uh, stocks you can do that so that move of course must move not a creepy <laughs> store that remain in place all day long and uh, okay so this is for i'm going to look for another financial instrument i'm going to show you again why okay i'm going to show you apple stock market leader okay on friday talking about uh, the tone okay the market tone on friday here it is we are on a daily chart for apple store look thursday look it was a little bit funny wednesday bit bullish tuesday look monday here this monday bullish tuesday a little bit down wednesday what can we say bullish or bearish better than tuesday of course and thursday a little bit indecision and then tuesday and then friday again bullish note so on friday you watch the s p 500 you watch the dow Jones to 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 analyze the market sentiment okay so if dow john is on a bullish note you don't want to go around looking for financial instrument you want to sell you want to align your your trading strategy with the market itself so a bullish market on friday is great but we don't go and buy anyhow we will look for financial instrument that uh, are exhibiting the best bullish setup using the trading uh, a drill <coughs> my apologies to traders all right so this is another example finish on a bullish note all right friday thursday wednesday tuesday monday look this is one monday here the friday before <coughs> monday is this one here look again bullish thursday was bearish wednesday not quite sure tuesday here and monday again look it's another Friday here, all right? Bullish. Right. You want another proof? Okay, that Friday is usually bullish. I'll bring you now Google, another market leader for NASDAQ 100. Apple and Google are market leaders. Here again, this is a Google on a daily chart. Look, Friday, bullish note. You see, you open here, went down a little bit, but look, I feel sorry for the bear. He pushed it back up big time. You don't want to be selling too much on Fridays. Okay, bullish note again. This is Thursday here, Wednesday, Tuesday. You will see that very often. Monday and Tuesday, watch it carefully. Monday may be bullish, as I show you in another video. And then we see kind of his uh, hesitation a little bit. Where are we going? What's going to happen? Okay, and then Wednesday, boom, boom, boom. Okay, all right. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay, and Friday here. Yeah okay look this is friday again this was friday the price went down all the way here was bearish first but look he pushed it back and closed bullishly it's another bullish day nice this is uh, a doji was bearish 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 huh? look was bearish bearish, bearish. friday they push it the bear push it down but it closed again on a bullish note all right Friday is a bullish day because of the weekend with what I was explaining to you, the mind game, how people are feeling, okay, what people are expecting will affect them. Looking ahead, if you have too much thing to do, if tomorrow they say, for instance, that you're going to court tomorrow, all right, one of your worst enemy <laughs> bring you to court, and it's tomorrow, tomorrow, even today, you start feeling the pressure, yes or no. This is the same thing that we see on Friday. So on Friday, people are looking ahead to the weekend. So if they have a lot of good things to do, generally a lot of people are happy because they are free to do whatever they want to do on during the weekend time. Their mood is bullish. That's why we want to give priority to bullish signal on Friday. Friday will is a, a bullish uh, a day. All right. I also explained to you the similarity between uh, Monday and Fridays, the first day of the week and the last day of the week, the first wave 
And the last wave, the equality, the similarities. On Fridays, because day traders, professional day traders want to go away, they will do what? They will manage their portfolio. So they will look and say, okay, George, we are day traders, okay. So as the week is coming to the close, they will be reducing their position, reducing their position, their risk exposure, controlling their risk, managing their portfolio carefully. Especially if you have been winning. I've done it myself in the past when uh, I trade nicely using the RTS315, a free day trading system that they can download on our website. RTS315 was my first day trading system. So I will be making money with uh, that uh, trading system, okay? After Thursday and Friday, sometimes I give everything back <laughs> because I didn't understand, okay, what's going on on Fridays, okay? I give everything back, okay? And, uh, and, and I finish on the battle. Then I'll stay on my computer day trading for us, okay? Up to uh, late until for us is closed. And uh, the market is closed. There's nothing to trade anymore. And you feel so low, so down, so miserable. And you think of it, you say, What's the point of spending all these hours for zero? And uh, I was making money. And uh, you look back, and then I'm, what I usually do, I go and review my trade. This is how I designed a TST W24. I review my trade and I said, this is what's going on. If only I was not fighting the market, I won't give back my profit. It's just very simple, okay? So this is what we want to know. Monday and Tuesday and um, Friday, there are similarity. Portfolio. Okay, adjustment, portfolio management, trade management, hedging. So they, are, they don't want to lose profit. <laughs> so they enter the trade on Fridays, but they are very defensive because the week is about to close and they don't want to lose. So they may protect the day trade. So for instance, traders that are trading for us, okay, they buy the euro USD and they will sell the dollar Swiss franc. Oh, no, no. That's completely wrong. They will buy the euro USD and buy at the same time. Talking about hedging, they will buy the euro USD and they will buy at the same time, okay, um, the dollar Swiss franc. This is to protect the first trade because the two currency pair goes in the opposite direction. So if the euro is going up, the other one will go down. So instead of uh, buying the euro and selling, uh, okay, the Swiss franc, if you happen to be wrong in both sides, you lose twice. So you say the euro is going to go up. So you buy, so you, you know that, uh, okay, the, the dollar Swiss franc will go in the opposite of uh, the euro USD, so you want to sell it also. So you buy the euro and you sell, okay, the dollar Swiss franc. If you were wrong, okay, you lose twice. So you were wrong that the euro will go up, okay, so euro went down, so you lose. And at the same time, the dollar Swiss franc goes up because you were selling it, it goes up. So, to avoid uh, that uh, losing trend, trader will buy the yo. So, they see a bullish signal, a beautiful setup, they will buy the yo, and they will buy also the dollar Swiss franc. But you may think it's uh, straightforward. It's not straightforward. You need to work on it and have experience. Don't go and just buy, and buy, 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 and say you are hedging. No, no, no. There are levels where hedging are, uh, how should I put this to you? Uh, there are some key level where, where there are times where one can uh, hedge uh, to the optimum levels, okay? There are some times when hedging can be very, very tricky. You, you, you are better off for closing a trend and taking a loss instead of trying to protect it, all right? So be aware of it, okay? So on Friday, the point I want you to understand is that on Fridays, professional protect their trade by using hedging activities, uh, by hedging against uh, their positions, okay? So this is something you need to be aware of for uh, Monday, for Friday, of course, Friday, 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 yes, I meant Friday, okay? Another thing trader must do on Fridays is to go, as I showed you before in another video, you go to the daily charts, you will highlight the high, the low, and the media line of Thursday. You see, this is Google stock. So, the reason why we do that is that we want to apply the definition of the uptrend, the downtrend, and the consolidation. Prima display new higher high, and new higher lows in the uptrend, display lower lows, lower high in the downtrend, and equal lows equal high, theoretically speaking, in a consolidation period. But 
You see here? You want to know where, you, after you draw the high, the low, and the median line, ask yourself, where is the closing price? So if the closing price is near the high, how do we play? If it's near the median line, how do we play? If it's near the low closing price, you want to know the position of the closing price to these key levels. So for this week that is closed now, this is Thursday candle here. So before we start the, the, the day of Friday, I will come here and on the daily chart, the high, the low, and the median line. Now I know that the closing price is near the psychological price level, which is the media line of the range of Thursday. Here in this scenario, though it starts from the low point where it's close to the media line, it's a little bit bullish, but it's a tricky place to trade. But I will be patient, so in this case, the level that I want to highlight will be the media line. If the price closes near the high, I will highlight the high. If it closes near the low, I will, I will highlight the low. Here we can see that Google Star closed near the media line, okay? So I will highlight it into red. This is my warning line, okay? So it looks bullish. So you can see the week start like this. It's bullish, bullish, bullish. We don't want to fight the market pattern. Okay, it's in the rising channel. We don't want to sell. We want to give priority to bullish signal, yes or no, until it come out of the channel. If you want to sell at like this, you want to sell on the edge. Talking about trading on the edge. Okay, so I have my channel and my red line, ready is my warning line. I may switch nicely. Okay, let's go to the 10 minute time frame, for instance. Okay. <coughs> You see my red line? That's the, my media line. So look what's happening here. Look, this is beautiful, isn't it? Look, on a 10 minute chart, look beautiful, isn't it? Look what the price did. The price just dropped, boom, 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 below the media line. That, you see, that's, that's on Friday, yes or no? And then just change direction here and run away. I can see you smiling. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. All right? It's beautiful, all right? So, beautiful, on a 10 minute chart. The reason why uh, sometimes it's better to use the 10, because the 55 minute can be crowded. But if you are using a trading system, you must follow the rules of your trading system. Follow the rules of your trading system, okay? Don't change it, all right? So, here, you can see here, yeah? it pulled back nicely. So, it was going up, you see here, it was going up, going up, going up. If you draw another common set like this, and then you pull back. But if you did not draw the high, the low, and the median line of Thursday, you will know what is taking place. Because the price very often will go from the high and then you will seek support. It's going, if it's going down from the high, what is the next support level? It's the median line. Okay. You don't want to sell at the median line. If you want to sell at the median line, the price might dip below it. Here, it dip below it. You must retest it. But it did not turn around, <laughs> you see? It break below it and retest it here. But it did not turn around, it closed above it. It's bullish. Okay, now you run away, okay? See, see how? By drawing the high, the low and the media line for Thursday, when the market open on Friday, we can make excellent decisions. Sometimes you will see easy setup like this. This is a nice, beautiful setup that one can trade at a low risk entry point without rushing patiently. You can zoom into it down to the three minute chart, okay, to control the risk. Of course, if you were trading Google stock, you will check the economy news that is related to Google stock, okay, and know what's happening. You won't just uh, use the technical loan, of course, you will check the economy news. And everything. you see this fact uh, on the three minute chart, now we see clearly that we have a kind of uh, one, two, three move down, displaying this low, and then pull, pull went up, and then again, you display a double bottom here uh, near the media line. If it goes above the nut, to the who follow us know what I call the nut, the double bottom, the top here, that's what we call the nut, it's bullish. So this is the lowest risk point to buy. So if you buy after this candle close, and you play your stop loss there, you know that the, the nut is another resistance here for the double bottom. You need to be aware of it. And if you close above it, you are okay. You become more enjoyable your day trading. And you give it a chance. On Fridays, you can, uh, okay, as the price, suppose you are using 20 pips stop loss, okay, and you are now at a break even, which means you, are, you have zero risk. You move your stop loss 
to break even because, especially if you are trading the New York session, it's a, a short day, all right? On Friday, okay, on Friday, don't, don't exceed two hours when you are day trading on Friday. Two hours, take your profit and go, all right? <laughs> all right, take your profit and just go, all right? So, on the Friday very often is a short day. This is another thing they must understand. Why is it short day? Because market participants are looking ahead. They want the, the attention is more onto the weekend. Their wife, their children, the game that they're going to play during the weekend, the activity that they have, they want to do, the thing that they want to fix of their house or do uh, some building work or whatever they want to do, their hobbies. That's what that's what they care about most. Okay, and then they come to the market. Maybe they ask their supervisor to go earlier than normal. So. You see, most of them will go because some of them will travel, go to their countryside. They want, they don't want to take the last train. Usually on Friday there are disruption, uh, disruption in London. Uh, if you use the transport, sometimes yeah, and, uh, it's better to go away early. So people, it's usually Friday trading day. If you are trading, especially the New York session, usually a very short trading day. So don't stay too long in the market if you are day trading on Friday first two hours okay if you are in profit okay secure your gain as it's moving forward secure it if you want to stay longer secure it don't let your stop loss stay below as soon as you reach break even move it there secure it because the last day of the week is usually also a very short trading day and you want to control the risk uh, carefully all right so we talk about uh, the similarity between monday and uh, uh, Friday, the first wave and the last wave, and we also talk about drawing a high, the low and the median line of Thursday, which we are talking about. We were, we are also talking about uh, that uh, Friday is usually a bullish day, so we want to give priority to bullish signal on on Friday. It doesn't mean that all Fridays are bullish. Some Friday can be bearish, all right? Can be bearish, purely bearish, and you'll be wondering, John, what the hell are you talking about? Okay. Do not be surprised to see a Friday truly, truly bearish. So it's going down. You say, John said that you turn around and it doesn't turn around. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Don't fight it. If it's going down, you continue to display lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high until we see the first, okay, higher low. Or until the price goes above, okay, all right, the psychological price level. It makes sense. The first psychological price level is the low before the last low. You remember? Okay. So it's a short day trading day. Another thing we want to discuss in the video, talking about how we day trade on Friday. All right. Professional on Friday are also looking ahead. So then we go to Forex Factory. Okay. At this time, they want to look ahead. They will check the economy news for next week. Because this week is ending now, and they are looking ahead. So, though they are trading today, they are looking ahead. So, the decision that they are making on Friday, they are making them in relation to the news that are due the following week. So, they're looking ahead. So, you should do exactly the same thing. So, come Fridays, you will, okay, you see here, at Forex Factory, you can uh, look ahead, all right? You can look ahead. You see here, uh, the calendar is here. Uh, where am I? Am I lost? Okay, here it is. This week, you see, May 25th to the 31st. Yes or no? This is this week. Suppose we are at the end of this week, which is not yet closed, but the week that is going to start tomorrow, okay? Suppose we are on Friday, okay? and you want to look at the next week, you click on this uh, arrow here, click, you see the date will change here soon. Okay, waiting for my uh, browser here, all right? And then you will see the data for the following week. So on Friday, professionals are looking ahead, they are checking the data, the economy news, the major economy news, the high impact news that are due, okay, in the following weeks, okay? Uh, are we next week? Next week, uh, and in weeks, is uh, some economy news related to the stock that they are trading now. If uh, are they going to give their okay, um, their data? Are they going to release their earnings next week? 
uh, what's going to happen next week. You see here, from the 1st of June to the 7th of June, you see, that's the following week after next week. So they will look ahead, come Friday, they will check ahead, the high impact news. So they start preparing themselves for the week ahead. All right? Similar thing they do on Monday, they will check the week that is beginning, the whole week. But on Friday, they are also looking ahead, the following week, the economy news that are coming, and they will adjust their portfolio. They will sell, they will buy according to the economy news that are coming. So we are talking about, uh, like I said to you in a previous video that I call uh, how to day trade on Thursday. I was explaining to you that uh, the last week of the month is usually excellent week for day trading. And I was telling you that because a new month is about to begin, Traders, again, are adjusting their portfolio and are doing this kind of uh, exercise. These are not real trade. These are portfolio management, okay? Uh, trade management. These are the things that they do, okay? To manage the risk, to control the risk, all right? So the last week of the month is very, very uh, suitable for day traders. But the same thing, when we come to Fridays, which is the last day of the week, we are looking ahead again, all right? So first, last, okay? Always first week, first month, first day, first hour, first day, all these things, and last day, you must pay attention to them and try to use the mind game, okay, that traders are uh, applying all the time, okay? Another thing that trader can do on uh, Fridays, because we know that uh, now I'm going to go back uh, to the, I will use uh, a currency pair. I will use the Euro USD this time. And I'm going to go to the daily chart. Another thing that we can do on Thursday, apart from drawing a high, the low and the media line of um, uh, Thursday, we can also, you see, this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this candle here, is uh, Friday. So before we start this day of Friday, okay, we can also draw, okay, the high, the low, and the media line of the last four day. So you're looking for the ultimate high and the ultimate low of uh, the range of Monday to Thursday. Because we are preparing ourselves for Friday, we have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We will draw a line on the ultimate high of the range of these four days. We will draw another line on the ultimate low of the range of the, okay, the last four days. We will also draw the media line of these uh, four days candle. Now, these are just a key level that we are watching. Apart from the high, the low, and the media line of Thursday, we want to be aware of these key levels. You'll be amazed how the price is moving from one key level to the next key levels. So we want to know where they are. This is what we care about, the key levels, the key levels. Price does not move anyhow. It's moving from one key level to the next key levels. And we want to know where they are. And we can use the high of the last four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the low and the media line to determine those hidden key levels. We are, we are not trading a key level. We want the price. We're looking for signal or setup around the key levels. That's what we are looking for using okay, the market patterns. There is one economy news that is uh, released on Fridays that professional make a lot of noise about. But myself personally, <laughs> to be honest with you, should I use the word? I do not give a damn about that economy news, but <laughs> no, be careful, all right? Be careful, be careful. The, 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 the economy news that I'm talking about is the commitment of traders. I will explain to you why I use that word, I don't give a damn, all right? <laughs> all right, this is to make you laugh. If you are serious, okay, to make you laugh a little bit, okay? Now, why I don't care about that economy news, okay? I will show you now. I'm going to bring on now uh, Dow Jones Index, okay? Before, in fact, I find that economy news a bit complicated because I don't like too many, uh, something that is too complicated. If it's too complicated, what my mind is doing, I will simplify it. So I try to find a way to simplify it over the year. 
I can't simplify that economy news. It's what we call the commitment of traders. It's due every Fridays. Yeah. They will release it in the afternoon or somewhere and go to www.cftc.gov. <laughs> www.cftc.gov. Now, C for Charlie, F for First Trot, T for Tango, C for Charlie, cftc.gov. Or you go to Google www.google.com put into it commitment of traders all right and you will see it there you can read about it and you will know what is the commitment of traders and uh, the best thing you can do also go to your tool search for videos about the commitment of trading how to use the commitment of traders what is commitment of trading put it in youtube search okay or google search youtube search you watch a video when somebody will explain to you or talk to you as i'm talking to you now to explain to you exactly how trader use the commitment of trading it's too much hardware for me personally and it's too complicated for me and i do not use it so i'm not saying that you shouldn't use it all I'm saying to you personally, I do not give a damn about this economy news. And I will tell you why. But this economy news, let's be serious, is important. It doesn't mean that it's not important, but I use something else, okay, to avoid getting into trouble. That's what I'm saying. But the point is that they want to, on Friday, uh, commercial traders, these are long-term traders, a huge market investors, that are moving the market, what they are doing, to, 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 to summarize the whole blah, 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 is that the smartest market participant, these are the commercial traders. If you don't know what is commercial traders, okay, Google it or put in YouTube search, okay? Commercial traders, commitment of traders, okay? So these are powerful people who move the market. They are mostly in the commodity markets, all right? So... Suppose that these are the people, suppose you are a farmer or you are somebody who, who buy real, okay, real gold, you buy and sell in the market. So you are a commercial trader. You know exactly the ins and out of the gold market because you trade it every day and you know what's going on in that market because that's why that's your business. These are commercial traders. They understand the market and they know, they will tell you that you should buy today. And if they tell you that you should listen, and uh, this is this is the activity of these uh, commercial traders that is exposed through this the commitment of traders. The same thing when we're talking about the forest market, real currency, people are buying them and reselling them. The bank will buy, and when you're going to exchange your body, they will give you back. And they earn interest by exchange, by the exchange rates. So you can convert the dollar, okay, into pound, you can convert the pound into the yen, if you are going to Japan, or if you are using your credit card or your debit card in Japan and you are a citizen of Great Britain, you are converting anytime you use your debit or credit card, okay, in Japan, you are converting the pound into the yen and you are doing that all the time. The same thing if you are an American citizen and you have your bank is in America and you come into London, you are using your car, you are converting indirectly, okay, your currency, the dollar, into the pound. So the commercial traders are people who know the business, buying the dollar, selling the dollar. They trade in, trade out in real time, real money. They exchange it. These are commercial traders. So the commitment of traders revealed to the day traders, swing traders, and the general public on Fridays, all right? You can, there is a website where you can subscribe. Check for www.commitmentoftraders.com. Okay, I think you can register, and every Friday they will send you uh, the table of uh, commitment of traders and you agree with me that it's a little bit complicated they send it to me every friday uh it's here commitment listen commitment of traders www.commitmentoftraders.com and uh, special commentary all this thing the table is here the following table i'm reading on my ipad here combined with the option and uh all the blah, blah, blah. to cut a long story short or to simplify this uh a complicated subject, okay, it's not too complicated though, is that the commitment of table is a table that shows the activity of these commercial traders, what they are doing behind the scene that a lot of people are not aware of. So on Friday, they will see that, in fact, they were selling the euro. If the euro was going up, 
Okay, so we are trading the euro, looking at the chart, but the real commercial trader were busy selling the euro. So come Friday, when this, this news is released and uh, he explained, he exposed what these commercial traders are doing, people will go and do exactly the same thing that the commercial, they will say the commercial traders are selling the euro USD. So we must sell. They know the euro was going down. So you see, the euro is going up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, it was going up, okay? We are trading, we're bullish, swing trading, day trading. Now come Friday, the community of traders say, shows to us, everybody, you see the terror, you see that. They were busy selling the euro. So now, the general market will now go and look for sell signal, and they will give priority to sell signal. This is about the commitment of trading. This economy news, this, uh, okay, data, this data is released every Friday. But as I expect to you, I do not give a damn about it personally, but it's something you can go and do your own okay, homework, search it on Google and uh, also on YouTube, watch videos about the commitment of traders, understand what is a commercial trader, what they are doing, and whether it's suitable to you, whether you can design uh, okay, a day trading strategy that will uh, help you make a better decision. It's good to know what these uh, commercial traders are doing, but at the end of the day, we are trading a price, which is the number one indicator. Now, I will explain to you why I do not give a damn. <laughs> now, if you allow me to use that word, I don't give a damn about that uh, economy news, okay? I use instead, in the past, I work around it. I try to understand how should I use this, and I never come up find something else, okay, that uh, I can use, or how I can uh, go into the mind of uh, other traders, I just know that, okay, they are saying, yo, and usually, I find this a bit, uh, uh, a bit of conflict between that, because sometimes I see, they are saying, I say, they are wrong, they are saying, they are wrong, they shouldn't be selling it, and sometimes, and most of the time, in fact, talking about forest, I'm right, uh, and they were wrong, and I don't know, but it's something you need to check for yourself, but these are major market participants, and we cannot ignore them. This is the point. We don't want to ignore other market participants. We don't want to disregard these are huge market because they buy anyhow, they sell anyhow. They don't use what we call stop loss and all these things. These people, they buy. They just buy, they buy, they buy, they keep buying. If they are buying, they just keep buying, 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 buying. Okay? And if they're going to sell, they just keep selling, selling, selling. They don't use, uh, okay, chart pattern like us, okay? These people move the market. So we want to know what they are doing. Any market participant, the professional, pay attention to this uh, commitment of trading. But I use the short term and the long term equilibrium price level. This is the Dow Jones. You may say to me, George, shut up with your short term equilibrium price level. This is the Dow Jones. Few weeks ago, I posted a chart, I think, on Google Plus and also on Facebook. And I highlighted, okay, these two lines. The red line here, that's the high of the year 2013. And the turquoise line here, that's the short term equilibrium price level for uh, this uh, uh, Dow Jones index. When I was posting on Facebook, I remember clearly that, I was telling you that it's better for the dollar because it was up above the high of last year which is bullish because it has displayed a new high high comparing it to the previous year. So priority to bullish signal. But then I said to trader, we must allow it to pull back near, okay? Trader that are following that we agree, near, okay? The high to retest it. So validation of that resistance level as a support level. I also, I remember the word that I used, that Bullish traders must be very careful and wait until the dust has settled. Now, the reason why I use that sentence is because, in my mind, I don't want to tell traders to be bearish. But in my mind, I was thinking that the price has a high chance to go to the short term equilibrium price level, which it did. You see, when I was posting this post on Facebook and Google Plus, the price was somewhere here. But we were Tell it today to be careful that he, wait if you are bullish, if you are bullish, wait for it to find a support on the red line here, which it did not have a support at all. It just crashed to it, and um, people try to buy it, and look at it, look how it stopped on the short term equilibrium price level. Now, you will be saying, George, this is nice. Yes, it is nice, and it's also beautiful. Why? Because the short term equilibrium price level 
is uh, the short and fair value of Dow Jones. This is the short and fair value of Dow Jones. And the price deviate away from it. All right? Now, if the commitment, the commercial traders, they trade, I don't know whether they know how they don't know how to calculate the short-term equilibrium, but they must use other tools to know whether the, the asset is overbought and oversold. If it's overbought, they will sell. Because they know they will know that it's overbought. They will know. These people they know the commercial trade, they know when an asset is overbought or oversold. That's why when it's overbought, they keep selling the how they sell the how like a mad. Alright? The same thing when it's oversold, they keep buying, 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 buying anyhow, alright? So I have come around because I try to simplify the commitment of traders, and finally, I, 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 I come, I, I manage to, 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 to design a formula to calculate the short-term equilibrium price level and the long-term equilibrium price level. What I say to TST, WSYS, Union 8 traders, this has nothing to do with TST, WSYS, Union 8 or TST, W24, the short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level, what I say to them, if you are trading this stock on the Dow 30 or the Nasdaq 100 or the Forest, you want to know the short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level, you can send me an email and I will get back to you. I am the only one who knows how to use, to calculate the short-term and long-term equilibrium price. I'm not saying that there are no way any, anybody else can uh, evaluate their own short-term and long-term equilibrium price level, but so far, I have my formula that I use. So when the price was here, it was a deviation. If the fundamental has not changed and the sentiment is, has not changed, the sentiment is changing. If the fundamental has not changed, but the sentiment is changing and the price moved away from the short-term equilibrium price level, all right, there's a high chance that the price will go back to its fair value. Now, what has happened here, the, price, the, ma the market managed to go above the high of last year, which is psychology. It's a psychology game, all right? We want to go above it. It stuck below it for a while. Finally, we went above it. The bulls are so happy. We want a validation. Yes, <laughs> the bear want validation. So let's see whether it's truly, truly support. But it crashed through it. So this red line we support to support the price fell. Next support level. What is the next support level? This one. That's why I say to trader, wait until the dust has settled. But if, for instance, you were here in this day, close here, and you just buy, you don't use a top-down trading method, you lose because you are just assuming that because he test it, he will turn around. You want to use a multiple time frame trading method, a top-down trading method, to enter the trend so you can control the risk. All right, so here it is. From this point, the Dow Jones went to the short-term equilibrium price level. Okay, you may say to me, John, this is working. I'm explaining to you why I do not use the commitment of traders, which is released every Friday. We are talking about how to day trade on Friday. The thing that we need to know, what is going to the mind of other market participants. That's what we are talking about here. On this... Uh, uh, daily chart. The pink line here, that's the long-term equilibrium price level for Apple stock. Okay, so now you can see that uh, in February, right here, long-term investors, now, those who, if you know what I'm talking about, have bought Apple stock here, they bought it here. You can see few times, the price come back again. What they are doing, they were buying here, you see. They were loading it here, that's the word I should use. They were loading around the short term equilibrium price level, 51037. So they loaded here. The, the smartest, after it, it went back a boy, they bought it. Try run fast. They want to buy again. This is what we call accumulation. Try at it again near. They are buying. They buy again. Look what's happened. From the long term equilibrium price level, they loaded big time. It's all about value. And it, the commercial market participants, the commercial traders, use what we call real value, okay, book value, to determine the fair value of a financial instrument. Where is the best place to buy? Whether the asset is oversold or below its fair value, that's where the commercial trader will come into the market to buy or to sell. So that's why I say to you that I do not give a damn about the commitment of traders. Doesn't mean that we should disregard economy news. Why the reason why I, I'm not 
paying attention to it is because I designed my own tool, which is the short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level, that allow me to know exactly what these people are likely to do. As I show traders many, many times, the price is going from one key level to the next key level. But there are key levels that are more important than other key levels, like the small mid line, the six critical price level, and also the short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is about how to trade on Friday. So Friday is usually is a bullish day, as I showed you already. It's also a very short day trading day. So when one is trading during the New York session, one must, okay, be careful. First two hours, just go away because professionals will be leaving their desk, going to their holidays it's for the weekend. So you don't want to be the last person in the market and get into trouble sometime on Friday. By the time the market is about to close, there are other group of traders that we call uh, the speculators. What they do every Friday, especially those who are trading stocks and the indices, the last hour before the market is closed. You see here? Very often, that last hour also, very often, is a bullish hour. The last hour on Friday. They come, and they were looking for a bullish pattern, and they will trade the last hour candle on Friday. If you are trading stock, you are trading Dow Jones, pay attention to the last hour. But my recommendation to traders is to trade the first two hours and then go away. Okay? If you stay too longer, three hours, until London is closed, just go away. As soon as London is closed, just go away. But you may be surprised sometimes. There are some economy news that are released at the end of the market. If that's the case, if the economy is uh, a high impact news, professional will hang around. And, had, and at, in, um, in one move, you may see that the price may just okay, go up or go down if they're expecting a very important new late okay, on Friday. All right? I think I've covered the most of the things I need to cover. The last thing that I need to mention to traders is that uh, if a Friday happened to be uh, the first Friday of the month, which economy news should you watch? The non farm economy news all right the first friday of the month you see here it's june 1st so june 7 this is the first week of june yes or no let's go to scroll down to friday and see what is there very often the first friday of the month we have what we call the daddy economy news all right let's see whether it is there or the movie or the release before This Friday the 6th, leading in promotion. You see, can you see? Can you see your chart, the red envelope here? The non farm in promotion. This is the master, the highest impact news. The non farm in promotion. So if the Friday happens to be the first Friday of the month, the major economy news that you must pay attention to is what? The non-farm employment change. In fact, for traders that are beginners and new traders, I would recommend that you stay away that day. All right? Because, all right, it is not for children, so to speak. It's not for children. All right? That economy news will mess up. A lot of uh, new traders lose big time. In fact, the first week of the month, it's a difficult week to trade. I will be recording uh, a video when I will show traders how to day trade the first week of the month. As we are talking today about how to day trade on Fridays, all right? If a Friday is the first Friday of the month, you are very, very careful. On that day, you can see the North Farm Economy News will be released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 1.30 p.m. London Time. It's a very volatile economy news, and um, in fact, mm -hmm. the best approach is to stay away until the dust has settled. All right, come back and trade another day. Though I have a trading, uh, I've designed a trading system which I talk about on YouTube how to trade a no farm employment chain or a high risk. Uh, 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 a high risk economy news trading system. Check on George your channel if I remember exactly the title that I give to that video. High risk economy news trading system by George Trio. And where I show traders, you wait till the last minute before you enter trade. But 
In fact, to be more conservative, okay, and to control the risk, traders must stay away, okay, from the non-farm employment news unless you are more mature trader and you know exactly what you are doing. So if the first Friday, if Friday is the first Friday of the month, the economy news that we must watch, very volatile, high impact economy news, is the non-farm employment change. But before that, the first Wednesday of the month, which is also another economy news, is due is the ADP non-farm economy news. You see, though the market is moving up and down like this, there are protocols. Okay, go to www.stochastic.com, click on protocols. There are protocols that the professional are following. And uh, this series of video about how to day trade on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, is to show traders the protocols, the steps that the professional are following each day. If Friday is the last day of the month, of the year, of the quarter, if it's last day of the month, we go to the monthly chart. We will check the monthly chart, as you will see this week coming up, okay, the week uh, that will begin tomorrow, okay, the 20, from the 26th of uh, May up to the 31st of May, all right? So Friday, coming Friday, will be the last Friday of the month. So we will go to the monthly chart, with whichever financial instrument that we are trading, we will check, okay, the market patterns draw your channel, and know your key level, highlight the key levels if, uh, okay, uh, the Friday is the last Friday of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said enough about uh, how to day trade on Friday. If we are day trader, we are short-term market participant. We must control the risk and we must always align our strategy with the short-term uh, price stretches. What do I mean by that? So you want to buy, you are dated that you want to buy, you want at least the short-term trend to be bullish. If the long-term trend is bullish and the medium-term trend is bearish, wait until the short-term trend is also bullish before you buy. All right? On the other hand, if the long-term long trend is uh, bearish and the medium term trend is bullish and you want to sell you will wait until okay the short term trend is aligned with the long term trend as a day trader we are aligning okay the short term trend the short term mini cycle the short term cycles with the long term cycle but we are concentrating we are short term market participants we are short term traders we are focusing on a short term opportunity we don't have the whole day, we want to remain in the trade, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 50 minutes, out and go. The longest, 2 hours, maximum 3 hours. We want to also respect the opening bell as a day trader. You will wait for London to open, wait, London is open, another 30 minutes, and then look for opportunity. Prepare yourself before the market open. Look for the best setup, okay? Be ready, have your plan, your strategy, okay? Always, as a day trader, whether you are trading Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday, respect the opening bell. This strategy, this discussion, this tutorial about how to day trade on Friday will help you to avoid crazy mistakes. All right? If you don't know what's going to remind of market participants, what is the center of the market, what you need to do, the step that you need to follow, while going through the mind of professional trading, you may have the best trading system, but you will end up on the wrong side of the market because you don't know what is happening behind the scene. I thank you for watching, and we will speak to you very soon. We are the TSTW at 24 Traders. I hope you can learn something from the video. If you like this video, okay, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us the thumbs down. If you have any comment, okay, put it below. And uh, okay, until next time, okay, enjoy yourself and uh, be very happy. Thank you for watching.